looked after I heard that the roads were being built into the watershed. I called Western and I said, you know, gave them a heads up that this was not exactly something that was going to go over easy on the Sunshine Coast. Because of the history, just because of the knowledge that people in this, in this area have about the need to protect our water source. And I talked to people at the Ministry of Forests who said, look, there are legislative tools available. There are legislative tools available to protect drinking water, and I've tried to figure out which ones they were, and obviously people talk about the Drinking Water Protection Act. Um, they say that the forest practices allow for the protection of the drinking water, and I'm concerned about the level of that protection. So there's not going to be any long-term monitoring and unless the purveyor of water uh, decides to pay for long-term monitoring, then, then it would happen. But none of these other parties are... are uh, committed in any way to long-term monitoring. None of them have any long-term liabilities at all. The, the forest industry is sort of let off the hook in many respects with, with respect to protecting our water quality. And I don't think that's right. And I think that it's clear that uh, whoever is responsible purveying for purveying the water, the purveyor of water should have the authority to protect the source of that water. Basically what we need is we need government to decide that this watershed is for drinking water not for two by fours and pulp chips. What we really need to do is protect the source. So uh, I think that the community has done exactly as I've expected. They've shown in great strength their commitment to this issue, and it's a fundamental issue. It's not about it's not about like short term stuff. This is about long term protection. An imminent threat isn't enough to protect my water. I'm not con I don't want to wait till there's an imminent threat to my water supply in order to act. But as long as they're trying to tell us that logging companies have rights over our water, uh, that, that their rights take precedence over ours, then we're going to have a conflict. Well, just Canada's responsibility in reducing greenhouse gases and just the old growth trees and that whole aspect of things like environmental law, how does that all come into play in what's happening in this community? You mean Canada's international obligations? Yeah, well, I mean, this is part of Canada, right? <laughs> well, if we were looking down the road, we, we would be thinking about how to maintain as much forest cover as we possibly can in our drinking watershed um, because of the moderating influence of mature uh, stands. Um, we never really got got to that. We don't really have a venue to bring that, uh, that issue forward, but that is the issue, that um, we need as much stability in that watershed as, as possible. As